hello guys welcome to my channel if you're a returning subscriber welcome thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for commenting and thanks for giving my video a thumbs up if you're new here it's so nice having you here thanks for stopping by my name is Mario. i film about fashion health diy and lifestyle in today's video as we all know we are now in the season where there is no rain i mean everywhere is dry and everywhere is hot like a heat hot you are hot like a heat and uh, people are much prone to go there because this time there's no rain and everywhere is us which leads to sweat and the sweat leads to body odor if you want to know or if you think your friend do not hug you or there is a friend that you're one of your friend do not used to hug that's the reason keep on watching <music> So firstly, what is body odor? Body odor is, is just a state where the body gives us an offensive odor. So my brother, if your friend is not hugging you when he wants to hug, or you are talking and uh, your friend are doing as if they are not really hearing me anyway, I mean they are, they are, they are not saying me, I mean, not. that's just the reason. It's because you have body odor, but they don't want to tell you because you might get hungry or you might just flare up. The first cause of body odor is sugar. Yeah, you had me right, sugar. And I'm not talking about scent, those are video girl sugar, when you best or on medicine, she get. I'm talking about refined sugar, like Viju, Coca-Cola, um, milk candy, I'm talking about can um, chocolate, candies, anything sugary. And this is because when they get to the body and they are too much, the body over produces yeast. The yeast turns sugar into alcohol and excessive production of ketone body leads to the breakdown of alcohol and results in body odor. So antisulia, yeah, yeah antiquity reduce the intake of chocolates. I know you can't go you can't go a day without taking Coca-Cola. Please reduce the intake because you will be so surprised that as neat as you are, as clean as you are, you still have body odor. My dear, it is sugar. The second cause is synthetic gluten. I mentioned this when I was talking about the five things you should know to your vagina. If you are yet to watch it, I'll leave the link in the description button. Make sure you watch it when you are through with this video. Why is synthetic clothes affecting body odor? Because you'll be like, how is gluten affecting body odor? It is affecting my brother. If you know what synthetic clothing is, you'll see that it doesn't give room for air to enter your body and when you sweat you need hair now when air does not get into the body the sweat is stuck on, on the skin and it leads to a breathing space for microorganisms and when the uh, microorganism breathes on the skin it leads to body odor so please brother kamal i know you like chessy yes because the sky is blue i know but please this isn't just Limit the intake of synthetic clothing. Let the skin breathe. Thanks. The second cause is spicy food. Antibiola de Ketra. Oh. Hey, Joeba, reduce garlic here. Yeah, and please reduce the curry too. This is because foods that contain these ingredients, such as garlic, curry, they release sulfur containing gases. And when all these things are released, you will notice when someone eats garlic and the person sweats, it's easy for you to perceive the odor. And this is because of the sulfur containing gases that the body releases. So please, the ketras, mm, antikudi, antibiola, reduce the intake. It's dangerous, all right? It's causing body odor. And people do not know this. Thanks. <laughs> Obesity. Antifati. Yeah, and if I say bon bon. see, I'm not saying you are smelling. I cannot say that. How can I? How I can say that? <laughs> I cannot say that. But obesity causes body odor because people who are obese and have heavy body weight are much prone to body odor, and this is because of the thick skin layer. And if you notice people that are obese, when they sit or even when they do some activities, you will notice some fold in their skin, and when the skin um, when the sweat gets stuck into the body for a long period of time and it's not being taken care of, it leads to body odor. That is why as an obese person, 
when you want to have your bath, you must have your bath thoroughly. Like you must wash every hole, every folding in your body. It is also dangerous because when you um, scrub your body too much and it opens your spore, microorganisms can get into it. So please, anti fatty, I'm not saying you should um, reduce your weight because of course your husband or boyfriend might like it that way. But please, when you want to have your bath, you can just... Um, even if the, the folding is very, very um, deep, you can just raise it up, wash it, and make sure you rinse it thoroughly. Thanks. And I want you to know, not all sweat causes body odor. The reason why you have body odor when you sweat is because you simply don't take care of your skin or you leave this sweat there for a long period of time. And when the microorganism acts on it, it causes body odor. When you don't take care of your skin, when you wear dirty clothes, dirty undies, and you don't take care of your skin, you don't bath every day, you don't have your bath thoroughly, it leads to body odor. Now, the solution to body odor. The first is take your bath or shower every day. Hmm. I don't even know if you are supposed to be saying this. Why won't you take your bath every day? Why? 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 Are you scared of water or are you scared of soap? Are you scared of closing your eyes or are you scared of the bedroom? Go, 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 go. Take your bath every day and it is advisable to take your bath twice. You guys around twice when she come at you. I mean two times. Yes, two times. The first is in the morning and at night. Sometimes in the afternoon when you see, when you are, you are when you've engaged in a lot of activity that causes sweating. It is very advisable to have your bath at night and this is because you will have sweat and it is a result of the daily activities. So please, take your bath and shower every day. Thanks. Wash your clothes regularly and wear clean clothes. It's one thing to have your bath, shave everywhere. It's another thing to wear clean clothes. When you have your bath, when you shave and you now wear the clothes you wore day before yesterday or Day before yesterday, yesterday, that is sweaty, brought all wrong. Yeah, all wrong, giddy gone. Because that clothes that you are wearing is already dirty. You sweat on it, microorganism has acted on that sweat. You still have put it on. You smell. There's nothing you can add to it. And please wash your clothes and wear clean clothes. And try as much as possible to avoid spicy food. It's not until you put curry, garlic into your food that will make it to be delicious. It's not. And if you think you are addicted to it and you want to put it, just reduce the quantity. Try as much as possible to avoid strong smelling food. If you do not see very, very well, if you eat chicken, if you cook um, turkey, if you cook pomo, if you wash it rather, you will notice that when you wash finish and you don't wash your hands thoroughly, if you perceive the odor of your hand, you will notice that it's smelly. When you cook all these things, it is advisable to wash your hands thoroughly. And this is how I will advise you to wash your hands. After applying soap, after making the soap together, you wash it this way. You do your hand, see my hand, then you do like this. Because sometimes when you use um, sponge, some people do not know how to use sponge. When you use sponge and you scrub it too much, it might open the pores of the skin and microorganisms can get into the skin. The fourth is put on anti plant at bedtime. It is not a must to put it on only at bedtime. You can put it on during the day. But the reason why I said you should put it on at bedtime is because at bedtime, when you are asleep your body is at rest and you are not engaging in any activities compared to during the day even even before doing this research i used to put it on at bed night before and this is because it will not be good when they say sro sro in the midnight and i'm breaking up body odor it's bad yeah it's bad it's because of packaging you know never to be caught on fresh you get it if you don't get it forget about it and when you put it on during the day it works too but the sweat during the day is more than the sweat at night and when this sweat accumulates, it leaves the antiparticipate defenseless. That means it might not even it might not even bring out that odor except it's a strong one. 
I'm in a strong one where the odor will supersede the sweat. Deodorants do not prevent body odor. It only marks the odor. The last but not the least ways to prevent body odor is to keep your armpits and some other areas dry. See, eh, some people, some people, I mean, the air in their pubic area. Who told the show? Why? Can you tell me the reason for that? Don't you know when you don't shave, when your body brings out an odor or sweat, the sweat to get trapped into the skin. And sometimes, funny enough, you won't know because the air there is too much. So please use this, use a clean shaving stick to shave that part today. And by the grace of God, we shall all have joy at the end. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thanks. Body parts that are prone to body odor. Your armpits, I said that earlier, you know, the armpits is even, it's not even somewhere that the air can get free access to. Until you raise your arms up like this, but if you take a good care of your armpits, there's no reason why it should smell. Open wound. This thing is not for me to tell, but I'll tell it. I was small. It's not story time, but let me just brief you. When I was small, when I have a wound, when the wound is dry enough and I open it, I'll not smell it. I'm even shy, girl. I'm, I'm so shy. That is when I know wounds to smell. Your feet, some of you can walk barefooted for hours. It's bad. Your navel, your belly button. Some people do not even know how to wash their belly button. I'm going to, I think I should make a video of that. How to wash your belly button, your pubic region, and um, your ear. Some of you like this, what I'm saying, you will not hear if you do not put earpiece because your ear is dirty. So, uncle, brother, go and clean that yesterday. Thanks. So, I heard some people have body done naturally, even after trying all their possible best to get rid of it, and it's still there. Auntie and uncle, I have a solution for you. Yeah, you can always go out with a pocket pave because. It might not be always convenient to carry a big pave all around. I have two of it here. This Explore. And I think I got it for 700 or 500. It's very cheap. Yes, I know. We all know how, most of us know how uh, Explore does smell. It's nice and cool. So I do put this in my bag. Anytime I'm going out or going to school, it's very, very easy to carry and it's very, very light. So you can always use it. And um, I have this poison girl. This is wow. I can tell you this is why. I don't know how much it cost, but I think 1501k. I don't know because it was given to me as a gift. I do put this in the car because I can't take it to school just because it's made of ceramic and. It might get broken when I'm lifting my bag from one place to the or anybody should sit on it if it can get broken. So if you have body odor naturally, just go about with this. When you see your body is bringing out that odor or you want to meet someone that is a different, you just put it and I'm very sure it got you covered. I hope this video was helpful. Kindly give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know the next video you want to see. Let me know how much it has been helpful to you. Share with your family and friends. Hello, Kiki. Yo, she be. Bernard! Yo, bro, Sam. That auntie that has body odor that you don't know what you tell her, uh, just share at the link. When she watch it, I'm sure she'll pray for you. Be your sister's keeper. Okay, she brought her in the Bible, so be your sister's keeper. And most importantly, I had, if you've not subscribed, only will my sister subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified when I drop a next video. And please make this video your manual. See you in my next video. I remain your amazing morning.